So this is the fourth episode on how to get your shots uh, more filmic. Okay, so this is uh, the picture we'll be working on. Super easy edit, as you can see, no problem. Let's make a new variant by pressing F7. Let's go in the details tab, sharpening all the way down, details all the way down, luminance down because it was shot at ISO. Uh, uh, 320 so it was shot because it was shot at a really low ISO we won't be needing single pixel cool um, in the exposure tab bring the brightness all the way up uh, exposure just a little bit up like so cool contrast maybe now leave the contrast or no contrast just at minus 29 or something like that Let's let's crush the whites. Let's uh, push the blacks a little bit, yeah. And then go in in the RGB. Bring up the blacks, okay. Bring the shadows a little bit up. And bring the whites down. So we're crushing the details right here. Okay, not, not that much, but we're crushing a little bit the details in his face, as you can see. There's not so much contrast anymore. And by, by doing so, we're making the image look softer, just like film. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit of vignetting because I want to get rid of all the details around the subject. I want to focus on him. So let's change the method on circular and add a little bit something like that maybe too much blacks crushing good maybe saturation all the way up because i want to make this look golden more shadows okay okay good uh in the color balance tab let's um add more orange in the midtones and uh, some blue in the shadows the blue actually the cyan is going to be more towards the green because that's how i like it okay cool something like that uh i'm going to go in to in the color editor and in the last square i'm going to slide a hue to the left making it you know making it more red than it's green good something like that maybe i'll add a little bit more saturation so we want to see can we have a little bit just yeah good because as you can see there was that that's my shadow i want to get rid of the shadow something like that So here you have it, this is it, this is the final result. I want to add just a little bit more grain because this was super super clean, as you can see. There's absolutely no, no grain to it being shot at such low ISO. And I'll add some silver rich grain. Which absolutely looks gorgeous, I love it. Maybe more more powerful impact would be nice just like that cool so don't forget the next episode is the last one uh, from this series and you'll be able to download all the film presets for free for your own uh, personal projects or commercial projects no problem you can also find me on social media if you're interested to see my latest projects and i hope to see you next time